I just want to hear you play another song, man. I, I I keep thinking like I need to 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 ask you something to get you to talk, but I just I kind of like your singing. Oh, thanks, man. Um, well, uh, <laughs> years ago, um, back about 2010 or so, we made a an album um, called The Whipper Will, and uh, we made it up mm-hmm. in uh, yeah, sure. Asheville, North Carolina, at a studio called Echo Mountain Recording Studios. It's an old church. And uh, we were on uh, Zach Brown's Southern Ground label. And um, Zach had put together a roster of acts, um, the Wood Brothers and Sonia Lee and Levi Lowry and Blackberry Smoke. And and it, it really felt like Capricorn records for a minute there, that same kind of, we were one mm-hmm. big kind. We'd all go on tour together. And, and uh, you know, Zach was, he was uh, already filling up stadiums. So... Yeah, uh, it was fantastic. And uh, anyway, the, but the best thing, uh, all that was great. But the greatest thing about it was we were coming out of some really bad record deal situations where we couldn't make a record for a while. And uh, hmm. the president of one label we were on went to prison. And it was uh, it was really interesting. All of it. Oh, wow. And, uh, but with Zach, he was like, hey, yeah, you know, we worked with, you know, a producer or two and um Maybe we're doing some things that we really, not that we didn't want to do, but yeah, that we didn't want to damn do. Um, and uh, anyway, Zach basically <laughs> gave us the keys to Echo Mountain Recording Studios and, and said, go make the record you want to make. And uh, that's how everybody yeah. should be put into the studio. Go make the record you want to make. Yeah. Um, I didn't get into yeah. playing music to, to make music that... Hmm that other people want to hear really you know what i mean i mean i'm not saying oh, totally people oh, you want people to like your music but yeah you don't want to be making music just because you think somebody else will like it and that's you got to believe it that's so. not honest you got to you yeah. got to please yourself totally. first and so you're not ashamed waylon jennings even said it. he said you if you uh if you got a hit song you better be prepared to sing that shit for 30 years uh, <laughs> anyway um yeah. long story short <laughs> we went into the studio before we went um, we had a bunch of songs because we, they were kind of starting to pile up and we were on tour with Zach doing some shows and we were in Oxford, Mississippi and uh, playing a big place there with him and it was game day, it was Saturday and Oxford had just beaten my favorite team which is the Auburn Tigers and uh, and I, yeah, I was really sad and I was walking Ooh, around Oregon. Oxford and uh I was thinking about the blues and I was thinking about it two different ways. I was thinking I got the blues because Oxford just beat the hell out of my boys. And then number two, I thought I'm looking around at Oxford, Mississippi and I'm thinking, well, they don't have blues here anymore. Really? This is the home of the blues. (laughs) Mississippi is the birthplace of the blues. And I said, well, they ain't got no blues. And so I went back to the bus and, and sat down and uh, wrote this song called, I ain't got the blues. Mama 
mama came home is made right in the shade. I'm gonna shine a big spark on that shine. Everybody that I meet is gonna be a good friend of mine. I'm feeling fine, just fine as wine. Yeah, hey, I can't frown for grinning. No, I can't lose for winning. I ain't got the blues anymore. Uh -huh. Charlie Starr, y'all, man. 